Uh, the purpose of the museum is to be able to uh, keep the history of computers alive and uh, provide educational opportunities for uh, the elementary, high school, and college kids to learn about these architectures and what these computers did, how they were used. So that's why uh, that's why it was a living computer museum because our goal is to you know keep things running, let people interact with them, so they can have the experience that uh, you know people had 40 years ago. You come in, we provide tours. We have tours every hour, and we start our tour with a uh, PDP-7, which was at the University of Oregon, and it was used in the uh, physics department to do nuclear experiments. And we have a live uh, presentation of that. And then we have an IBM console that uh, the 360, 91, only 15 of them ever made, 13 of them sold. It was, uh, it was for high calculations. NASA had one. Xerox Alto, which was a revolutionary design at Xerox Park. Uh, it was the first uh, WYSIWYG terminal. What you see is what you get. So if you had a word processor and you printed the document out, it would look on the printer the same it did in the terminal. That's a computer that Steve Jobs and Bill Gates looked, uh, saw to get their idea, their visions for Apple and, and Microsoft Windows. This is a disk, 200 megabytes.